Hi there, I'm Heidi Swap, and I'm here to talk to you about my memory planner. I have designed all the planners to be non-dated, which makes it great because you can start anytime you want, you can rearrange the orders of your months, and you can use it for any year you want. So if you start maybe in October of 2015, you can keep on going until September of 2016 if you'd like. So that's one of the very flexible things. But it does give you a little bit of work on your end. So let me just show you the way that I have a, a solution that I have for you for the numbers and the dates. If you purchase uh, the little stickers that go with the planners, there is a set of little mini stickers and a set that is a little bit larger. They're in the package of stickers, you get enough stickers for the whole year. So that's great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip to January. I've been using my planner since October. And I'm just going to flip to January. Let's see. I put it all the way back here. Let's see when I moved it back. And I'm going to go ahead and start prepping January with the numbers. So I've already checked and January 1st is on a Friday. So let me show you. The easiest thing to do is kind of bend this backer. They're clear and so they're kind of hard to see. You're just going to bend that backer and then go ahead and stick it right on that little circle. It goes pretty fast once you get the hang of it. The first, the first few might slap you around just a little bit after that. It's pretty easy. You can also use a little tweezer. I got that one on a little a little squampus, so let's straighten it up a little bit. Um, some people love to use tweezers. You can also use a toothpick. So if you, that, the sticky on the sticker will hold that on the toothpick and it will make it easier for you to kind of position it before you stick it down. All right, now I'm going to flip over to my week. Now, depending on how the days and the weeks fall, what we wanted to do, we wanted you to be able to see an entire week at a glance. So if I just go all the way back to my November or my December, then what I will have happen is the end of my November kind of running into my December. So let's just see if I've got it all ready to go here. Oh, and it looks like I didn't finish. So anyway, let me just show you. These larger numbers are perfect for these little circles on this side. So you'll do the same thing. Bend back the backer, remove the number, and position it right into that little circle. It does take a few minutes and so this is probably a good time to turn on some Netflix, <laughs> hang out for a little bit, chat with some friends, and fill the numbers on your planner. Just make sure that you're always paying attention. As I'm adding the numbers in my planner, I like to have my iPhone right there so that I'm constantly double checking the dates. Because if your dates get off, then it's a real headache to go back and fix it. But these numbers do make it flexible. You will have more pages in your planner than you actually need. So if you need to replace one, it makes it really easy to do that as well. All right, that's my tip for adding dates to your memory planner. Grab a planner and make pretty stuff.